Okay, I found a cool new feature of this program, or of the active board. I can make instructional videos um, when I go to websites. Um, we're going to look at a computer program to practice um, something called the distributed property. And we're going to do two examples together, um, and then you're going to use the program to um, do some on your own. Um, um, I'd like you to use the program just to kind of model it in a different way um, so it's not boring. Now, we're going to look at example one. I've got two parentheses, 2x minus 3. What we're really doing is we're doing two times the quantity 2x minus 3. We're going to be using a website to, to do it, and I've already got you there right now. Okay, what we have here, let's discover the parts. This is an x squared, negative x squared, x negative x, x negative x, 1, negative 1. Okay, to do this, okay, you put whatever's out on the outside of the parentheses, you label it. This is kind of like a, like a table you use as a kid to do multiplication tables. What we're going to do is we're going to drag over whatever's out here, we're going to drag over two of those. Alright, I'll show you. So what we need to do is drag over two positives. So whatever's on the outside goes on the, the vertical side. Now, what comes up here on the horizontal is what's inside the parentheses. Two x's minus a three. So, so put two x's minus three. Okay, now what we have to do here is we have to multiply this 1 by everything in this row up here. Okay, a 1 times an x is a 1x. One, 1 times x, 1x. One, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1 times negative 1. Negative one. All right now we got to multiply this one by all those again. So one minus x, another x. One minus x, one times x, another one x. We got to do one times negative one again. Yeah. Okay, so to find out what the answer is, you just count all the blocks in here. So we've got four X's. And we've got six negatives, minus six. Right now we're going to do example two. Which is a negative 3 times 3x three minus 3. Hey, making a video? Yeah, screen recording. You guys can stay, I don't care. That's fine, I got chairs back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I thought. So I thought. Yeah, y'all can just. You gotta jiggle the mouse a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to put negative 3 on the vertical side. So I'm going to clear it. Make 3 negatives going up this side. The other example is we're on the top, we're going to put 3x minus 3. Alright, now we're going to take this negative 1, multiply it by all those. Negative 1 times x is a negative x. Negative 1 times another one 
the negative x, negative 1 times x, another negative x, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, negative 1 times 1 is positive 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is, if that was multiplying at one time, now we got to multiply that negative 1 by all those. Negative 1 by all those. So it's going to be the exact same thing three times. So now you just add up what's on the inside of the table. We got nine x, negative 9x plus 9. Now you're going to use this program to complete an assignment. And um, like, at least I'm not making you draw them. It suggests to make you draw it, but I'm not going to. Um, just use the program to do it. Yeah, I've got an instructional video after that. Alright, bye.